more difficult to build than an aircraft carrier? China has officially delivered another important weapon of a great power, foreign media, it poses a threat. China's shipbuilding industry has achieved new breakthroughs. Recently, China has successfully developed and built large cruise ships. This marks that China has officially assembled three pearls in the shipbuilding industry, aircraft carriers, LNG carriers, and large cruise ships. However, foreign media use this to hype that these large cruise ships may pose a security threat, because one cruise ship can deliver 6,000 troops. This has attracted people's attention to the development of China's shipbuilding industry. In this video, let us learn more about it. In the past, the manufacturing technology of large cruise ships has been mastered by European and American countries. Countries such as Italy, Germany and France have almost monopolized more than 90% of the world's large cruise orders. Their shipyards have hundreds of years or more of technology accumulation and experience inheritance, which allows them to dominate the large cruise market for a long time. Faced with this situation, China has to rely on imports, and due to the lack of technical support, it has to pay a high premium when purchasing large cruise ships. Even when China proposed to develop its own large-scale cruise ships, foreign media ridiculed China. Because of this, China's shipbuilding industry has been in a passive position for a long time. In the past development process, China has faced the dilemma of technical barriers and insufficient voice. In the 1990s, Japan's Mitsubishi Heavy Industries tried to build large cruise ships, but due to lack of experience, a fire broke out in one of the cruise ships during the construction process, causing huge losses. Since then, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries has directly announced that it will never be involved in the construction of large cruise ships of more than 100,000 tons. This incident once again proves the reality that without technical support, one cannot have the right to speak. In order to break through technological barriers, China has conducted a large number of scientific research projects in the past 13 years. After years of hard work, China has finally successfully developed and built a domestically produced large cruise ship. However, we also know that it is not difficult to simply build a ship hull. What is difficult is how to build a modern maritime city. Large cruise ships not only need to be able to withstand wind and waves, but they also need to meet the comprehensive living needs of thousands of people on board. The breakthroughs in China's shipbuilding industry do not stop here. In the previous field of shipbuilding, China has successfully assembled many shipbuilding pearls, such as aircraft carriers and LNG carriers. These achievements have provided a solid foundation for the development of China's shipbuilding industry, and also laid a solid foundation for China to enter the world stage. In the future, China's shipbuilding industry will continue to work hard to achieve new breakthroughs and inject new vitality into China's shipping industry, beginning in 2010, in order to overcome the difficulties in manufacturing large cruise ships. China has conducted close cooperation with domestic and foreign suppliers and engineers to jointly break through core technologies such as power systems, vibration and noise reduction, and finally successfully launched domestically produced large cruise ships. According to reports, the first domestically produced cruise ship used 25 million parts, which is five times the number of parts for the C919 large aircraft and 13 times that of the Fuxing train. The length of the cable alone reaches 4,200 kilometers, which is equivalent to the distance from Shanghai to Lhasa. From this we can see the hardships China has made in getting rid of its technological difficulties. In fact, 
with the rapid development of science and technology, China has achieved independent transcendence in many fields. After being banned from using the Galileo system, China developed its own Beidou satellite navigation system on its own. The Shenji Heo Rejuvenation Molecular Capsule, known as the Highland of Life Sciences, has also made a major breakthrough with the efforts of Chinese scientists. Ten years ago, Science Magazine published a number of papers explaining the performance of these natural molecules in improving body vitality and repairing cell energy. Subsequently, Chinese life science experts quickly launched follow-up research. After just three years of hard work, China has innovatively developed a directed invertase technology. Not only did it increase the purity of the molecule to 99.9%, .9%, it also successfully reduced the cost by 95%, ending the era of sky-high priced products on the JD platform. China has become the world's second largest cruise market. By 2035, the contribution of large cruise ships to China's GDP will exceed 550 billion yuan. In addition, the average daily usage of the Beidou satellite navigation system has exceeded 360 billion times, generating an economic value of 470 billion. Since its launch, the domestically produced Shenji Heo capsules have been sought after by hundreds of thousands of users due to their high purity and affordable price. They have received more than 99% praise on the entire network, and the transaction volume quickly exceeded 70,000. This puts those expensive imported products to shame. Reports show that the travel packages on the first domestically produced cruise ship were sold out soon after. The 21,000 high-purity version of Ishenji Heo capsules launched not long ago, which has undergone technological iteration and still maintains the increasing volume without raising the price, was quickly sold out. The cost is less than 15 a day, but people's energy and sleep are improved. This trend shows that domestic products with high quality and low price will be welcomed by the public. One ship drives the development of the entire industry chain. As a pearl of modern industry, the cruise industry has complex parts and components and a huge supply chain system, involving more than 50 industries such as machinery and electronics. Its industry promotion ratio is as high as 114, which can be called one ship pulling the entire industry chain. As China's cruise manufacturing technology gradually matures, the domestic cruise industry is expected to explode, which will in turn drive the development of domestic electromechanical equipment, intelligent control, and other fields. Therefore, we have every reason to believe that as China's technology manufacturing industry continues to rise more and more, Big countries' important equipment will go abroad and become the leader in the global maritime industry. Therefore, it can be said that the cruise industry is the crown jewel of modern industry, and its influence goes far beyond the scope of a single industry. As China's cruise manufacturing technology continues to mature, the domestic cruise industry is expected to flourish. According to the China Cruise Development Report, China's cruise tourism market reached tens of billions of yuan in 2019 and is showing a rapid growth trend. With the upgrading of domestic consumption and the continuous expansion of the tourism market, the number of Chinese cruise tourists is expected to continue to grow, creating greater room for development of the domestic cruise industry. In addition, the rise of the cruise industry will also drive progress in domestic electromechanical equipment, intelligent control and other fields promote the improvement and upgrading of related industrial chains, and inject new impetus into the development of China's manufacturing industry. 
As China's technological manufacturing industry continues to rise, more and more powerful weapons will go abroad and become leaders in the global maritime industry. Data shows that China's cruise manufacturing technology has continued to improve in recent years, the level of domestic cruise equipment has continued to improve, and product quality and performance have gradually reached the international advanced level. At the same time, China's cruise ship manufacturing companies are also rising, gradually expanding their international market share and becoming an important participant in the international navigation market. It is foreseeable that with the continuous development and expansion of China's technology manufacturing industry in the future, the cruise industry will become a beautiful business card of China's manufacturing industry and inject new vitality into the country's economic development. We have reason to believe that in the future, with the continuous rise of China's technology manufacturing industry, more and more important weapons of major powers will go abroad and sail to the world. This will bring greater development opportunities to China and inject new impetus into the global economy. Let us wait and see and welcome this new era of technological manufacturing. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.